Blob is back in a horrifying new adventure. And you are there, startled, stunned, terrified, as the blood-red creature rolls over and eats everything in its path. We're going to burn the place down. I can't take any chances. Beware the Blob. <laughs> Starring Robert Walker, Gwyn Guilford. First thing you do when you get home, you go fishing. You know that's not the first thing I did when I got back home. Beware, Godfrey Cambridge. Beware, Carol Lindley. Please, please. Beware, Shelley Berman. You would like a haircut? Yeah. That'd be four hundred dollars. Beware, the Blob. Larry Hagman and his pals tried to stop the Blob with a pitchfork. Beware, the Blob. Consuming human flesh on contact. I don't suppose you got any identification. Nothing can stop it. Not fire, not water, not even bullets. What do you mean? Huh? That thing. That's it. Oh! oh, my God. oh. See, son of Blob. Oh. Ah, it's the Blob! Rated PG. All ages admitted. TripAdvisor calls us one of the top 10 ghost tours in the U.S. for good reason. Not only are our guides the best storytellers in the business, several attract a lot of things themselves. Book your tour now at ChattanoogaGhostTours.com. Chattanooga Ghost Tours offers not only award-winning tours, we are the first ghost tour in the world to offer investigations and ghost hunts using amazing tools such as the Talking Ophelous and the new Ultimate Hunt with SLS Ghost Mapping. Show yourself again? Yes. Book now.
Do you like the 80s? Do you like heavy metal? Do you like the dark side? <laughs> then you need to add some trace to your spooky season with the Trace Book Series by Mandy L. Contrell. It all began with Trace and the Devil. It's 1988 at Fairview High School and bad boy Trace has found the girl of his dreams. Will she love him in return despite his dark connections? How far will he go for love? <laughs> this first Trace book and the second and third are all available on Amazon and in select stores. These books are being compared to The Twilight Zone, Tales from the Crypt, Tales from the Dark Side, and Creep Show. So follow Trace if you dare. <laughs> it was built, but what we do know, that everything has been left behind. Two what, but why? Wow, see what I mean guys, everything's just left behind. Everything. People say the Shadow Man resides inside, but who is the Shadow Man? Oh, you're excited, yeah. Come forward! Mate, what the What's all these bloke Cold snacks up about? Is that you? No. Is it one of the old occupiers protecting his belongings? If you move that door, we'll leave right now. We'll go. We're sorry to scare you if we have. Or is it something more evil, something malevolent? I'm sure it is. Who are you? Is this your room? Playing on this one tonight, with my little ghost hunt. We're in a place called Cold Harbour House. As you can tell, everything's left behind. For a reason we don't know, but apparently they just got up and left. Okay guys, we're gonna walk around first just to see. Make sure it's all safe and stuff. Any one around? Hello? If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and give us a like. Literally guys, everything's left behind. This is strictly a night vision video oh, look guys. At that picture, mate. Oh, what's that? Evening news, Hampshire Telegraph, look at that. What man? Look guys, everything is left behind there. Everything. Look in there. Everything. It's like I just got up and left uh, the family. Uh, what is it? <coughs> Toilet. Okay, let's go this way then. So we're just going to do a walk through it first to make sure it's all safe. And then we're going to conduct an EVP. See all these pictures on there. So uh, everything. Pictures, look. Look, there he is. He's that, that was his Navy oh, days, wasn't it? Look at that picture. Look at that one. Yeah, that's cool. Wow. Okay, we've got one light, really guys. Nice. And that's nice. just telling you the light. So like much, that. mate. So much left behind, guys. Right. 
crazy. Tell us obviously the main living room, isn't it? Yeah. Should I go first now? Huh? Obviously, when I want to look at the screen, it's quite hard for me to see. Well, hard for the kitchen, mate. Wow. See what I mean, guys? Everything's just left behind. Everything. It's this disabled person, eh? Yeah. Has it got it in it? Yeah, it's tarm anyway, not a picture one. You can tell it's not been abandoned too long, guys, because look, it's Harry Potter there. We're talking about the last decade. Yeah, there's cupboards up there, look. There's glasses. It's crazy, man. It's only... Oh, is it in there? <laughs> no, it's not. This is crazy, guys. Whoa. Oh man, I see. Yeah, two cookers. Oh no. You just open that fridge? No, I'm not open. I don't open that fridge, mate. Let's go out of this room. This room stinks. Batteries there. Crazy. Oh, empty. I've got batteries in the bag for your spirit box. Like I said, guys, we're gonna look around and we're gonna do an EVP session. Oh, look at that. Spirit box session. What is it? Cobweb. And that's what we sent him for us. Oh, this is massive, bro. What's this? What was that? What was that noise? Go to that room, guys. Oh man. Navy stuff. Mate. Finals. So what do you reckon guys, why is this place abandoned? Why is everything left behind? There's always a reason for that. What's his name? No idea mate, but try and find out if you find a letter. What about this certificate here? Look. Here man, what's this for? Oh, I can't read that, look at that. Anthony... Oh, Bagley. Anthony, are you here? Would you like to communicate with us? Anthony Bagley? Tony? Same name as me? Oh, mate, wait. You... you just touched my arm. No. I'm being serious. No. You just touched my arm. No. Oh, oh, man, look at this. It's like yeah. a bar. Massive. Got a snooker table there, Ooh. under oh, that. Full size. That's, not, that's a billy out of the table, isn't it? I don't know. Oh. It's cold in there, isn't it? Yeah. Anthony, you here with us? Look at that, mate. Get all glasses, look. It's still in the box, mate. Same here as well. Get all ghetto glasses, mate. Oh, wow. Takes tapes. You probably better even know what tapes are, do you? Yeah. Just about, yeah. Just about. Definitely like a games room, isn't it? A man yeah. cave. Or some sort. We want guys, we're going to use this. New K2 meter, obviously it's got the temperature and it's got the gauss Hello? meter, so if it beeps, it means there's something of electronic or an entity here with us. It will flash, but obviously we're in night vision, so you're not going to see it much. Hello? The temperature now is 15.7 Celsius. Anthony, are you here? That's just rubbish. That'd be like the front door, isn't it? That's just rubbish. Who was tasked to be quiet? It was very strange. Me and Tony didn't say that. Are you here? That's just rubbish. Door, isn't it? 
That's where we come from, isn't it? Little puddles. That'd be sheds. Hello? Hello? Whoa. What's the matter? Oh, what's your head for me? That's... Well, there's a bit of fire on there, isn't there? Yeah. Let's go out of this... Well, there's a bit of fire on there, isn't there? Yeah. Let's go out of this... Who answered me? Was it Anthony? Who said yes? Well, there's a bit of fire on there, isn't there? Yeah. Let's go out of this one. What's in there? What? A cafe head. Cellar probably, have a look. Oh, have a look? Yeah. Let me change on you guys. Can you see down there? Oh. It's just a toilet, mate. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's cold, though, isn't it? What are we going? Upstairs, isn't it? What's this? Oh, that's probably like a humidity... Compact. OK, guys, we're going to go up to the second floor. Oh, wow. Well. It's freezing up here, man. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I want to walk on all that. It goes wood for me. Let's do it, right. man. I don't know if I want to walk on all that. There's other stairs, isn't there? Yeah, I think so. It's dangerous, man. Huh? Let's go out of this. Anyone with us? The kitchen stinks, mate. Anthony, we know your name now. So maybe you want to come talk to us? We don't mean no harm at all. All this stuff. Those oh, down there. Patches. They are that. Charles Bagley. That's someone else, isn't it? Charles? Charles Bradley. Look at one of his little gun thing. Man. Bagley. That's crazy, isn't it? That's on a sub. Yeah. Thank you for your service, Anthony or Charles. Thank you for your service, man. We'll go first. Well done. Yeah. Oh. All right, we're going to the next flight, guys. Is it? This is a nice one. Yeah. This is where the mask used to sleep, yeah? Anthony, you up here? Oh, practical. Yeah. Who's <coughs> with us? Man. Is it all just piled sky? No, it's not bad, but... Hello? Is anyone there with us? There's a loft. Who's in there with us? This is where we were sleeping at, right? This is where we slept. Anthony. I love that. Yeah. It's small for me to go out there, bro. Yeah, I'm not even, man. I'm claustrophobic. That one's horrible. Yeah. Did you die up here, mate? Hello? Charles, Anthony? Okay, guys, we just left uh, what we think is the master bedroom. We're moving on. Wow. All these books. Wow, mate. Record it's a storage now. room. What's in there? Let's go sit in there. It's obviously his office. Yeah, look. He's into his 
Don't say that. We're not going to show you what he's into, guys, but he has a big collection of it. That's all we're going to say. Should we do a spare box on there? Anthony, are you here with us? He's all over the place, isn't he? Coming further than night. Look. Show us what you can do. I can't see Look. you. Yeah. I don't know, but they've got loads of them, man. Show yourself on the other side of the corridor for me. This special camera will see you. Come on. Come forward. Brand new shirts there. This feels weird. I'll have a look over there. Why has he got no, loads and loads of newspaper clippings? I don't know, mate. It's probably what he's allowed to do. It's hobby. I wonder where these other stairs go, though. It's obviously the other part of the house. Yeah, I'll Anthony or Charles, can you give us a sign you're here? Can you move something for me, please? We're here to talk to you. Alright guys, I'm going to put a K2 meter on the sides, just to see if we can get anything going off. Are you in this room with us? If you're in this room, flash this device to me. Flash, flash. Flash, yeah. Flash, flash, yeah, flash, 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 flash. It's flashing mad. Okay guys, we're going to do a spray box session now. Who are you? Come on, speak up. Who are you? I know you're here. I don't know your name. Can we help you? What's in there? Well, it's coming kind of through stuff, mate. Did you just knock that? No. Oh, mate. I'm not on the mic, I'm with that. Who are you? After reviewing the footage, Tony's crutch did not touch the bag as he thought. You decide. Is that you in a picture I've got in my hand? Who is that? Couple of things coming through there, guys, but we're not too sure what it is. Who are you? Is this your room? Where are you? Guys, but we're not too sure what it is. Who are you? Is this your room? Where are you? 100% guys, a laugh. We can't be bumped out. The question is, is it from a spirit box? Or is it a disembodied? No. Who are you? Is this your room? Where are you? Come forward. Okay. Yeah, come on. Speak into it loudly, please. Come on. A little mic in it. Oh, lights. Very still on. Buzz off. Yeah. Mike. This is the mic you're talking to. Speak for the mic. Or do you say hide? Is this door in this room? 
Answer Tony, did he die in this room? We're in this house. Look at that old chandelier. Yeah. Man. What did I just say? Yeah, man. You sound like it says, yeah. Can you repeat yourself for us, please? Come on. Who are you? Where's the shadow? Diesel. Diesel. Cliff. What about the cliffs? Are we close to the cliffs? I don't know. You want to communicate with us? Yes or no? We just want to talk to you. Come on, spirits. Speak into the box. Come closer. Face the wall. Face the wall. Was you in the Navy? Was that you on the submarine? Something coming through me, but I don't know what. Tell me your name. Is it Anthony? Can we help you? Come on. Speak up. Would you like us to go to another room? Do you want us to leave your house? What was that? It's like a fuck up Mark Simpson, did not it? Who are you? Look up. Why is yours look up? Hello. Use our energy to speak to us. Hello. Whistle. There's two coming through, a woman's voice, I heard. Like an old lady's voice, and a man's voice. Manifest yourself, please, and show us who you are. Why? We want to communicate with you. Can we help you? Do you want us to leave your house? What was that? It's like a fuck up Mark Simpson, didn't it? Who are you? Look up. Why is yours look up? Hello. Use our energy to speak to us. Hello. Whistle. There's two coming through, a woman's voice I heard, like an old lady's voice, and a man's voice. Manifest yourself please and show us who you are. Why? Stick up. We want to communicate with you. Can we help you? You want us to leave? Let's keep the light on it then. I've got one there in the desk, I don't know what is it. Oh, big boots. What's in there, guys? Oh, mate. What's that? There's more rooms there. What's that? There's loads of rooms. What's in this room? Since we come over here, that's getting more active. It is, yeah. What the f Hello? What? What was that? What? What was that? Again, with a lot, but this one was more demonic. 100%. This is not me, but you got to me.
What's the name? Old Sweets and that. Mr. A. You just grump then? Who was that? Was that you? No. You know who? What's the name? Old Sweets and that. Mr. A. You just grump then? Who was that? Was that you? No. You know who? That moment was so strange. That was 100% a grunt. But from what? What's the name? Old Sweets and that. Mr. A. You just grunt then? Who was that? Was that you? No. You know who that was? Oh, you're excited, yeah. Come forward. Mate, what? No, no, it wasn't, mate. Son. Son, I knocked on that f. You'd not see that. Charles D. Bunker. It's a door, mate. It's a door, 100%. Do something. Like what did you just do to make it not? This one like that. That wasn't you, man. Try and kick someone to see if you can do something. It comes from over here. Mr. A. Yeah, it is Mr. A. Hopefully, was that you? We went through here. Well, we heard a knock. Sure, but all this, all this stuff here, look, knocks everywhere. Yeah. We're gonna lock these um. You're the dirty old man, eh? Oh, mate, another room. It's, it's filled with stuff. What's up here, then? No, I can't even see. Oh, sorry, bud. There's more up here. <laughs> Look. Rolling here. What's in there? What? That's not good. What is that for? Office. No, what this? You tell guys, this is just full of stuff. What's this for now, man? Oh, okay, look at that. Got a tape recorder on it. What that? Oh, yeah, that is, yeah. Stuff is crazy. Memory board. Huh? Is there dogs alive? If you're here with us now, can you give us a sign, please? Can you make a knocking noise for us? Can you copy me? That's weird though, this, this thing here, man. Ooh. Hey. Whoa, man. What's this for, then? This must be like... Okay. What's all these bunk Cold slats up about? Like? Is that you? No. Did you hear that? Yeah. Hello, who's there? Hello? That was that door, wasn't it? Yeah. Is that you? Can you make another knock, knock for us, please? Move that door. If you move that door, we'll leave right now. We'll go. We're sorry to scare you if we have. If you want to be left alone, we'll go. But you need to give us a sign that you want us to go. 
That was a weird one, huh? Who's in there? We're coming in. Man, that's so weird. There's nothing here, mate. Bang that out. I know. Hello? Hello? If I make a knock, can you copy me, please? Can you make a knock for me, please? Are you afraid? You don't have to be. Really cold behind me as well now. I feel like I feel really cold as well. Let's go back to that room while you where you see that Mate, thing. It's really cold there. Right there. What room? This room. You stood there, and then we had a door. Can you close that door for us, please? Yeah, back around here. This door's open here, man. So that door closes. What the fuck? Can you close that door? That's weird, mate. That's crazy. Was this Anthony telling us that he found the door? You decide. Don't feel your footsteps. Can you give us a sign you're here with us? Anthony, is that you? I feel really on edge, mate. I don't even know why. Look at that photo. So what do you reckon? What's in this room here? Because when we, we was about to go in there, we had a bump. It's in this room. It's like a kid's room. Oh, it was like a door, wasn't it? Lego, shit. All these ramsacked in here, aren't they? Old shell there. It's a kid's room, room, isn't it? For this little thing. Last trap. That was weird. You got that on camera. Yeah, as well, definitely, don't you? mate. 100%. <clears throat> that was so weird. Look at that. That's an old Tonka toy, isn't it? What is? Turn it over. Look at that. That's an old Tonka toy, isn't it? What is? Turn it over. I think this is Anthony answering Tony's question. The responses we're getting are crazy. That looks creepy bathroom now, isn't it? Yeah. I'm starting to start this bit, these things, mate. What's that? What these like weird little doors are. Do you reckon you not locked them in there? Like? Probably. So, 
seems like it, doesn't it? Well, look, there's a door here, look. You should have over and lock it off, haven't they? Look at that, swimsuit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, We've gone back through this way. I wonder if he's left it. Someone's probably taken him, man. Must have, it? Yeah. Okay, guys, we're back in the main bedroom, I think. Oh. You alright? Yeah, I am Watch your step, mate. Did you just fart then? No. Did you hear that as well? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Are you farting on us? Hey, look, that must have been a shit, a shit mush. What, what does it say on that? HMS Kent. And look, there's. Oh, look at this, mate. Look at this. Oh, man. Look at that, guys. It's got all signatures on it. Again, Anthony, thank you for your service. Can you be kind enough to talk to us, please? It's a shame all these photos are going to waste. It's talk to us, I'm at service. This steps right here, yeah. Do you like to communicate with me? You probably say, share the same old banter. Okay guys, we're going to conduct our little EVP session. We're going to ask a couple of questions each to see if we get any response. So let's do this. Are we talking to Anthony? We made that bang upstairs. Would you like to come and communicate with us and tell us your name if you're not Anthony? What was the DVDs upstairs? What was they? Did he die in this house? Are you afraid? Have you got any treasure hidden? And not porn. Just like there, wasn't it? Did he die in this house? Oh, Are you afraid? That's important. Have you got any treasure here? I'm not poor. Treasure pack? Short as I know. A knock, you see it was at you over there. Are you afraid? Have you got any treasure here? I'm not poor. Just say. 
This is to clarify that AF Bagley Royal Navy has served as Sub Lieutenant Royal Navy. January 1945, the 5th day of April 1945, during which period he has conducted himself. Fucking hell, mate. He's in World War II. Captain Six. That's amazing. He's a captain, mate. No, no, he's a lieutenant. This is Anthony, yeah? Yeah, that's why he's got such a big house, mate. Anthony, you're a hero. Definitely a hero. Come and speak to us, Anthony. Okay, Anthony, what was the war like? Anthony, did you like it on the submarines? Did you get seasick? Did you enjoy your time in the Royal Navy? Where's your medals? Thank you for your service. You're a hero. How many ships did you sink? Come and communicate with us. We don't mean you any harm. What year did he die? All that hard work he put in, and now look at the country, is in blitz, it needs to happen in the game. Do you agree with us? Much luck with the EVP session. So now we're going to put on the spirit box and see what we can pick up with a K2 meter there. Come forward, please. Oh. Just took some from the floor. Oh. No, I haven't. No? I'm going to throw a face in the boat. Sure. I'm going to throw a face in the boat. I'm going to throw a face in the boat. I'm going to throw a face in the boat. I'm going to throw a face in the boat. Get off! Sorry! Are you angry with us? Did Tony drop something? Or was that you? Have I dropped anything? No. 
Oh, that's that in my hand. What have I got here? Is this? I'm fine. That's what I've got. Who was that? I'm sure you didn't drop on it or kick on anything, mate. You can't. I'm still here like that, man. I'm still here with you. Hello? Who made that noise? Are you watching? What's your name? Come on. My name's Tony. My name's Alex. What? Turn that off then. Huh? Turn it off then, I'll just do something. There's a reflection of the film page. I ain't got a light on me. Hello? Mate, I did not touch anything. No? No, I swear to God. That's you, can you do it again? That's a woman's voice, isn't it? Who, we, who is in this room with us? Can you make the, the um, lights go up to red or orange, please? Use our energy. Come to that doorway behind me. Come on. Do you want us to leave? Do you like us? Anthony, are you here or not? This is good. I feel like I'm getting watched, mate. Yeah. What, from over there? If you see a light from over there, that's yeah. the other side of the house. Huh? That's the other side of the house over there, mate. Isn't it? Yeah, so if you see a light over there, that's just weird. Very weird. Come on, come forward, speak into the microphone. Do you want us to leave your house? Let's go. We're going to communicate. Not me. No. Oh, I'm tripping out bad dog. Hey you. What? What? What do you want? Can you talk to me? Anyone. Anyone? Anyone. Well we're here. You want to talk to us, you want to communicate. State your name to us. Who are you? I'm on the trip out, man. Come on. You hold it. What? Look, look at that noise. I ain't touched that knife. Whoa. No, nah, come on. You touched that knife. You can see the, oh, yeah, the friction of it. That's a fingerprint. Right here, look. Yeah, I know. Where it was? Yeah, look, there's footprints. Yeah, true, yeah. What is? That was something else, mate. I don't know. Definitely not me, bro. So you look over here. Which one, bro? That's the name. It's a very weird place, man. Hello. Huh? Hello? Did you do your time in the Royal Navy? Sir? What happened to your ship?
Look at these weird little vases, man. How did you sell? Okay guys, we're going to conclude the video there. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. I'm going to say goodbye soon. Bye viewers. Hey John, how you doing? Pretty good. How can I help you today? Uh, you guys sell all kinds of board games, right? Yes, we do. You have the game Mousetrap? Oh man, that's the one game we don't have. Are you serious? Because I bought the cheese. Oh. Well, you want a bite? Oh, not unless you have the game. Trev, Trev. Got too, too much cramp around here. You gotta do something with this stuff. I mean, did you even well, do what? anything? <laughs> I'm gonna have to work uh, my butt off. You do? Yes, but look at it. There's just too much. There's too much, man. There's this is much. never gonna get done. What are you gonna do? Hey, you all know me. I'm the Tarboo Scooter Salesman. But today, I'm here to really bring you a service that's really gonna boil your tea. Have you got too much stuff? Now, all you have to do is point. Gone! Point! What'd you do? Gone! <laughs> oh, did you see that? That's right, too much stuff. Do you have too much stuff that's clogging up your life and holding you back? Remember, with too much stuff, all you have to do is point! Gone! Have you got too much stuff? All you do is point! Give it a try! Well, it's too much stuff. We'll get rid of the stuff. The aim is up to you. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Stupid hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Really? Yeah. yeah. We're not talking about you, though. Is that what we're doing? You gotta <laughs> kick off the yeah. new year. Hey! There we go. Hey. I got demoted. Is there something strange occurring over uh, here? It's a new year, so we're doing something different. Rich. 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 There, there's something strange occurring. You're black. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, yeah. I can't do that. Like, like, you know, no. Battle truck, battle truck, battle truck. Battle truck, battle truck, battle truck. <laughs> There's a lot of room oh, over here. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Yeah, there, so, there's there's let me, let, let you me can ask see orange between yeah. us. Let me ask a question. Since you're over there, did you do your homework? Of course I did my homework. We're good. But I, he's we're the great, host, so. We're great. <laughs> we're great power. I you know, I leave the room for <laughs> one great minute. great pal and, comes and, responsibility. Oh, no, it was about 10 minutes. And, you yeah. Know, well, okay, I left the room for about you're coming back. seven minutes. nervous. And, and you guys work this out where you're hosting tonight? Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a little... Well, what's tonight's movie? Yeah. What's tonight's movie, Rich? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I, of course, know, but I'm giving you your opportunity. I'm impressed because I did shout this out not too long ago, and I said, put it back on the list because it's been about five, six, seven, eight years. Really? It's been that long, I think. Really? Yeah. I think I think so. I think so. This was back at Studio maybe, maybe Beachwood Studio, maybe, right? Studio 2015. Beachwood Studio. Uh, star-studded cast, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Good studded, premise. Studded tires. Good yeah. premise. Um, it keeps you interested. I don't want to poo-poo and make everybody turn the TVs don't off. Don't poo-poo because I think we're out of toilet paper. <laughs> but I will. Just oh. I, I, because I don't want to save the of, napkins. I don't want to get a bunch of angry calls at the end of the movie. I wish we would get some angry the calls. En <laughs> the ending, the ending, not quite oomph enough. Let me oh. just put it that way. Didn't have enough oomph. No. If you're watching no on Spectrum, you might not see the ending sometimes. You're right. so. <laughs> I'm just putting it out. That's there. another story. <laughs> Something That's we true. do. Yeah. That we movie, have no control over. All no, the kind no strangers. All the very. Kind strangers. Kind of weird, you know, these these, these, these these group of kids that, that you know, they, they want parents so bad, really? you know, oh yeah, that <laughs> they'll kidnap uh, adults. Vern shouldn't be like, really? Like, oh, like first oh, he's really? hearing of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the movie we're showing. Oh, really? <laughs> Stars Stacy Keach, yeah. uh, uh, John Savage from Deer Hunter, uh, Robbie Benson. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. From... Uh, Deer Hunt, the Beast, John, Beauty and the Beast. John Savage, if it isn't your thing, you see he has an Ohio connection. Yeah, the What's Deer Hunter. Ohio connection? <laughs> the Deer Hunter. What's the Ohio connection? Oh. He was... <laughs> the no connection? The, uh, it, it's not a real <laughs> no connection, connection, though. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> what John is, Savage. John Savage. Was John good Savage. friends. Good friends. With Jeffrey Miller. Wow. Don't clap. Who the hell's he Jeffrey Miller? He was one of those that died at Kent State. The picture where the guy is dead okay. on the pavement, yeah. that was Jeffrey Miller. Savage was good friends with Jeffrey right. Miller. Way to bring us down. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Okay. Just Great. saying. That's his Ohio connection. But, yeah. But That was his only that's connection? That's Ohio connection because he's friends with someone from Ohio? Well, we don't know if the guy... Jeffrey Miller. We don't know if Jeffrey Miller is he, from Ohio. He, 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 in an interview, he said that Jeffrey Miller was one of his best friends. <laughs> okay. But that, if that that's constitutes being connection. a connection, a a rain, I like a better one. It was a rainbow connection. Rainbow connection. Like <laughs> Frog. Yeah. 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 It's a good song, man. That's stuck in my head now because you. Thank you. Rainbow connection. So all the kind strangers is tonight's film. It is. Okay. All kinds. Of Starring good old Sergeant Stadanko. Come on. Crickets. Stadanko? Crickets. <laughs> So many in this room bear no correlation. Keech? What I've is it? That name Platoon? Before. What is it? Sergeant Nobody knows Sergeant Stadanko? Stacy Keach. Mike Hammer. Wait a minute. <laughs> right? <laughs> what? Stacy, Stacy Keach was Mike, Mike Hammer. Hammer. You Sergeant, didn't know that? Sergeant Stadanko. Anybody? Animal House. <laughs> you just wanted to see that face. This is going to be a long <laughs> night, a long face off, and a long trivia. Seriously? Well, we're saying all this other stuff you don't know, but because we don't know one, it's seriously? But you didn't know Mike Hammer, and you didn't know... I know Mike Hammer. You didn't know Mike I Hammer. Don't watch, I never watched it. I didn't TV either, show. but... <laughs> oh, I know it's an old TV show. show. 
Was it? Yes. Was it like a detective show? Yes. What was the better detective show? Like Hammer <laughs> or uh, uh, The Wanderers? What was that show? The Wander Was it called The Wanderers? You know that show. Go to no. all the kind strangers. Let's start this puppy. <laughs> Tonight we're going to show a lot of skits. Get it up. Get it. You got quite a load there. Would you like a lift? I ain't got far to go. How far are you going? There's a dirt road. About a mile, I expect. A mile? That's a long way. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Here, I'll give you a hand. Boy, that thing sure is heavy. What you got in there? Oh, just flour, soft. Things like that. Here we go. Those groceries out there in the middle of nowhere. Pensboro. Pensboro? Is that that town I came through a ways back? Yes, sir. Must be five miles. You mean you carry that stuff all that way? It ain't so far. How old are you? Seven. When I was seven, I wasn't even allowed to cross the street. You're nice. What's your name? James Wheeler. Everybody calls me Jimmy. I got a brother named James. We call James James. My mother used to call me James. That's good. It's in a private, you know. James. Nobody calls him Jimmy. <laughs> what do they call you? Gilbert. Gilbert Jenner. Gilbert? Hey, what's this? That's a camera. Now be careful. Don't put your finger on the lens. Are all these things cameras? Uh-huh. What do you do with them? I take pictures. That's my job. I take pictures, and then I write stories to go along with them. I'm what they call a photojournalist. Hey, there it is. Right up there. On the right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Wheeler. Sure wish you could come and take some pictures of me and my folks sometime. Wait a minute. Okay, smile. There you go. What's this? You just keep watching. How far down that road do you live? Oh, not more than a mile. <laughs> well, do you figure you're going to catch a ride with a neighbor or something like that? Ain't got no neighbors. Hey, what's happening? Just keep watching it. I'll take you home.
two miles, Gilbert. There's not even a road anymore. I'd take some shortcuts. I don't think I can drive much further. Your mother's gonna be worried sick about you. Ain't got no ma. I'm sorry. It really ain't much further now. Peter, he's my big brother. He knows a better road. It's longer, though. Sure, if it doesn't rain. If it does, it won't even be able to get the top up. Mark need it. Just go straight ahead. Yeah. Nobody puts a road through the middle of a creek. Maybe the road was there first. It's only a few inches deep. Are you sure it's inches, not deep? It only gets high after rain. All creeks do that. Uh -huh. Come on, let's go.
Martha. She can't talk. Nice to meet you, Martha. Nice to meet all of you. Well, this ain't all of us. Baby. This here's Baby. Ma died when he was born, so he didn't get no other name. Baby? Gilbert? You go bring Peter. Ma, he seen us coming. I said go get him. Well, that's all right, John. I saw him pull in. It was nice to meet you, Peter. Listen, I was wondering if you could show me the road out of here. Martha, tend to baby's nose. You know he's catching a cold. Pretty done having you join us for supper, Mr. Wheeler. Well, I'd like to. I really would, but I'm afraid I can't. I'd like to have you stay. Driving Gilbert home and all. Well, I appreciate the invitation, but uh, if you'll just show me the road out of here, that'll be thanks enough. Well, if you really gotta go. All right, I'll show you. So long, kids. Be good. Nice to meet you. Bye, Gilbert. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Will. You bet. Now, once I get to the road, which way do I go? Miles, not even broken in. You got a telephone? No, sir. Looks like you'll be having trouble with us now. We're spending the night. I'm always a sucker for a baseball game. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing with a fishing rod in here? I got your text. Great Lakes Game Emporium. Yeah. 6.30. Yeah. Go fish. We're playing the card game, go fish. Oh. Well, at least I didn't buy the bait. <laughs> I didn't buy the bait. What, Vern? How did the eagle do in school? I don't know. It soared. Zing! <laughs> uh, Midnight Syndicate. This was the this was the theme that I was trying to get to be the theme of the Baron Bloodstone. But I was having trouble getting a response, so I had my cousin Fred do, Fred, the, do yeah, the theme. Fred did a good job. Did a great job. Fred yeah. Croce. Shout to my cousin, yeah. Fred Croce. Yeah. Is he related to Jim? He is. 
<laughs> oh, he didn't Whoa. expect that, did no, you? No, he didn't expect that. Can we interview him? Look at Jim's dad. Don't ask me hard questions. I know, but you know, like... Interview Fred? Interview Fred about, about uh, Jim. Maybe I'll see if I can arrange we'll see it. what he knows about it, you know? No. Six yeah. degrees of separation. Yep. That's only one degree. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel the power coursing through my veins. <laughs> see? <laughs> Shout Feel out to Mini right. Syndicate, shout well, out to uh, Edge, shout out to Vinyl Arcade. That's all the donuts again. Yeah, that's true. I did swallow that one. So. I, would Just, be, I, would be, I would be crashing. In about for all the people at home, don't get used to this because <laughs> I'm letting the young, youngster try out the seat. I've tried out the seat before <laughs> and I don't like it. You want to hear? <laughs> no. Although, no, you know, I'm sitting no. here. No. I'm, I'm going to save the line no. for later. But you'll, you'll, when it's time, you'll know. What, you feel a little know. more comfortable because you have more room? Oh, I do. That's do what that. to say. You got more space over yeah, there, there, right? More, I can there feel definitely. Airflow. You can see orange between us. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Wow. Don't get used to it. Don't change, but you know, hey, it, it is what it Are is. Are we back? No. Yeah. So what is the yeah. face off today? Yeah. So we're back. Yeah, we've been back. We've been back for quite a while. Yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, we've been back so long. I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah. I remember leaving, but I don't think we even left yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. the music started, you know, we came. Yeah, back. Yeah, but I thought we were still talking. I don't think we no, came no, back. Yeah, we were talking, but we're back. You never shut up. I'm, I'm looking at the toys over here. Yeah, there's some good ones over there. I'm gonna make sure put everything back. Everything's inventoried over there. <laughs> All right. I'll yeah. Tease. There's, uh, that's a fun one. That's a fun right, one. I'll tease the face off. Okay, okay. Thanks. You we, tease it. I couldn't. It's live a nice without movie. You. What? I, I couldn't live without you teasing this. Tonight's, Tonight's movie. Gucci Goo. Tonight's what? Gucci Gucci Goo. I thought he said Gucci Gucci Goo. That's what he said. Oh, okay. Tonight's Gucci Gucci Goo. It takes an awful lot to get through a segment in this. Uh, this. Uh, yes. Yes, it does. Atmosphere. We can't all be wasps. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Wasp. Great man. All right. Well, I see that you're wearing a wasp and a wasp, so you're totally wasped out. I'm totally wasped out. Wow. What does wasp stand for? Well, I'm not allowed to say because we got reprimanded last week. Oh, really? Week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, there, there, well, there's, there's, there's many different uh, things that it can stand for. There's, there's the, the, the people who are thinking they're devil worshippers thought it stood for we are Satan's people. Hmm. There's the all, and then there's the. The PMRC that thought it was we are sexual perverts. Okay. And um, White let's just say it's Protestant. Right. So let's just say that it didn't stand for any of that. So. Give us one word. What? Give us one of the words. What was the first word? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, let, let me tease. Like, let, no. me te let me tease. Okay, tease. Go ahead. Right, go tonight's, ahead and tease. tonight's movie. Go ahead, tease tonight's again. movie stars. Stacy Keach, who was very famously known, but apparently not famous enough, as Sergeant Stadenko in the Cheech and Chong movies. Oh, I remember. Oh, that. okay. Sergeant Stadenko. Stadenko. I just remember from the records. Yes. I don't remember. Yeah. And we all know and love Cheech and Chong. Cheech and Chong. We know yeah. and love them. And everyone kind of has their favorites. So the face-off is Cheech. Who was your favorite? <laughs> Cheech, Cheech Marin, Tommy Chong. Maybe that clear up for you. Cheech Marin, Tommy Chong. Some people like Cheech better. Some people like Chong better. So that's the face off. You got. Hmm. Beat you a guy, man. Beat you a guy. Okay, never mind. You got, hey, mean. you ain't no chick, man. <laughs> hey, yeah, I know, man. So. <laughs> that's good. Hey, man, you want to get out and walk, man? Hey, you want to get high, man? Yes, I mean, dude, you got wooden balls, man. I have a joint. Hey, careful there. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, good the music stuff, goes man. up. Yeah. I can do that whole. Yeah. Hey, Ray, because oh, I say it all coming. the time. I always say on the show, I always say, hey, Ray, you'll be fine, man. You know, that's a uh, Chong uh, line from Up in Smoke. Hey, you ain't afraid of a little speed, are you, man? Hey, Ray, you'll be fine, man. All right. <laughs> Look, that gets a chuckle from the peanut gallery back well. here. <laughs> well. Yeah, I see a license, sir. Ain't it back on the bumper, man? <laughs> Just like that. Okay. Smile. Hold it. Oh, there it is. It's all taken right there. Just keep your eyes on it. Isn't that neat? There I am. Oh, look at you. Going all the way.
way to California. Uh -huh. License plate, say New York. Well, my job takes me a lot of different places. Anywhere there's an interesting story. I read about California and New York. I'll be going there myself someday. New Orleans first, though. Mardi Gras. <laughs> it sure must be something. Oh, it is. It's very exciting. Big carnival. You been there? Uh-huh. You got pictures? No, not with me. I read about it. Ma was a school teacher, you know. She had a lot of books and things. I sure like to meet your father. Pa's away. He took some hogs to market. He'll be back on Sunday, I expect. Oh. Rita, take Mr. Wheeler to see Mama. Mama? Gilbert said... Gilbert talks about it. Don't say nothing. Mr. Wheeler? happy that you can stay for supper, Mr. Wheeler. I'm, I'm not much of a cook, really, but I, I'm learning. Your mother left a lot of recipes. Look, the windows are nailed shut. And what's a boat doing on that door, on the wrong side? I don't like the children under my feet while I'm cooking. not really that late, boys. I mean, it's just the time of year. And then there's the rain. But I guess it's early to bed and early to rise on the farm, isn't it? Lots of chores to do, especially with your father being away. It ain't so bad. It's a lot of fun sometimes, too. Oh, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is, particularly when you're young. But then, you know, Peter, Peter doesn't seem to be enjoying it too much. But I guess he'll be going away soon. Oh, no. Paul said the family sticks together. Like in the Bible. Peter told me to show you to the supper table. Now. Now, do you want to go to your room? Gilbert. God is great, God is good, and we thank him for our food. By his hand, we must be fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. I don't want no fat. I ain't got no potatoes. James, you want fat corn? 
you bit the beans there? James, not to your fingers. In a kind of like carrots. Well, they're good for you. Have a few. I like blackberry jelly. There ain't there no blackberry jelly, Mama. Because you went fishing yesterday instead of collecting the berries. Tomorrow, if the rain lets up, I'll expect two full boxes of big thimbleberries. Maybe Pa would like... Maybe Mr. Will would like to go with you. You can kind of show him around a little. Hey, that'd be great. I know a patch where they're so big they're dragging the ground. Well, thanks anyway, but I'll be leaving tomorrow as soon as I get a tow truck out here. I figure I can catch a ride into Pinsboro in the morning. Don't you just love ham, sir? Mm. Hi, Peter. Butchered a beauty last fall. I bet he weighed in at over 800. <laughs> you got a down on my file. Hmm? You like the mashed potatoes, too. Uh, we get fresh milk every morning. Peter. See how nice and fluffy they are? Butter That's potato, fine. too. Mama turned just this morning. Gilbert, yeah, you put them missies back. I just want Yeah, I know what you wanted. Now, how many times I got to tell you them dogs don't get nothing but meat? But they love biscuits better than anything. Mm hmm So they can get fat and soft and lazy. That's all we need around here is a pack of no account hounds. They ain't no account. We, they do anything we tell them. And we're going to keep them that way. Dogs hunting biscuits ain't no good for nothing. Now, you drink your milk. Peter, when's your father coming home? Supper, Pa. Both their parents died five years ago. Five years ago? Ma well, died birth and baby. Pa drank five gallons of his own makings and fell off the roof. Five years ago? But well, what about the neighbors, the people in town? Come on, now, everybody finish up. It's getting on bedtime. Wait a minute. I just can't believe this. I'm, somebody must have known something. Well, I didn't want strange. Nobody came around much. He was a good shot, Paul. I'm just like him. Right, Peter? You're good in here. What do you do for money? How do you pay the gas bills? And what about your schooling? Their mother was a qualified school teacher and she left instructions for their schooling. There's natural gas on the property and the company gives it to them free for as long as they... We got plenty of money, too. And Pa used to sell whiskey. You're gonna get a switching, Gilbert, button in like that. And I told you to drink your milk. I'm sorry, Peter. All right, Peter, look, look, I want to get something straight right now. As soon as that tow truck gets out here tomorrow, I'm leaving. I don't know what this mom and papa stuff is about, but I don't like games. And she is not your mother. Just who are you? Well, my name's Caroline Henderson, and I'm... It, well, it ain't a game, really. I'm their mama, and, uh... Peter, please tell him. I wish somebody would tell me something that makes sense. Carol, came to help us out, that's all. We was figuring maybe you'd like to help out, too. Youngins need grown-ups. Somebody to teach them. And tell them what to do. Punish them when they need it. If you don't want to. Where's my bag, my camera equipment? I put it all in your room, sir. Upstairs, I know that. Thanks. I'll see that room. They will stay. Till morning. Then you can take your funny farm and... Good night. Mama.
a minute. What are you doing? Oh, that's all right. I, I, I'm only going to be staying uh, to... you'd stay till morning. That was before I got locked in my room. Now, do you want to stay in this menagerie or do you want to go? Oh, we can't go now. I mean, they must have seen you come in here. They're downstairs singing. Well, Martha can't sing. She's like a cat. She, she sees and hears everything. Look, they're just a bunch of weird kids with some crazy ideas. Their father pounded into them. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to protect his bootlegging business. How did you get mixed up in this? I picked up Gilbert just the same way as you did. There's a bunch of clothes in my room, different sizes, and things with different initials on them. We're not the first. There was another man, an older man. One morning he was gone. Peter said he went into the town to get a mechanic, but he never came back. And the car just disappeared. All right, look. We're just a mile and a half from the highway. The rain has slacked off. We are leaving right now. We can't go. Don't you understand? We're prisoners. They're just a bunch of kids. They're eyes and ears for Peter. And the dogs, you heard him, they're trained. A pack of hound dogs? Put it on. Thank you. 
with guns lest I show in you. again as promised i just did mr moffitt over here about robot monster i moved right next door i'm talking to bob Furman from 3d film archive and he's just done from what mr moffitt has told me a fantastic new version of robot monster that you've never seen before in 3d and he's got some other things here and he's going to tell us a little bit about what he does sir how are you doing today i'm doing very well thanks Thank for you. taking the time to talk to us for a few minutes I was recommended highly over here that we stopped over and talked a little bit about what you're doing to some of these awesome films. Now, well, what, thank what you. Are, what's, what's it all about? What's it all about, Alfie? Well, I'll tell you, we restore vintage 3D movies, and our company 3D Film Archive uh, started about 40 years ago. Oh, wow. And we've been doing restorations for 3D Blu-ray for about the last nine years now. And we have uh, restored uh, over 30 vintage uh, 3D wow. movies dating back to the 1920s. And uh, Robot Monster was one of the titles that was on my bucket list for a very, very long time because I had found the only complete 3D elements about 1990 in an uh, abandoned storage unit uh, wow. uh, in New Jersey. So uh, it, it took a while, but with the 70th anniversary of the film being 70 years, I couldn't, I can't believe it. Yeah, uh, it really jump-started our efforts to get it done. And, and Mr. Moffat, uh, being a very young, 80 years old, we wanted to, you know, have him be part of it, that's and awesome. uh, that's what got the restoration off the ground. Okay, now exactly. I'm like I was telling somebody earlier. You know, I have an HD TV. I don't put it on HD channels. My eye doesn't discern like, you know, the regular, the HD, whatever. So what am I gonna look for in the new version of this? Like, like, what do you do to restore a film 
you know what I'm saying? Like the images, what, what exactly, what's the difference that I'm going to, that's going to wow me. It's going to knock me out of the seats. You're going to see even with the 3d. Cause if you've seen the 3d version, the older 3d version, it's a little, Oh, it's bad. Yeah. Uh, and there's a reason that. for that because the, uh, the company that had the distribution rights, uh, medallion television, in the 70s and 80s, they made a an anaglyphic 3D, which is with the red and blue glasses. Okay. And they didn't have complete elements. Those so, are the ones that give you the headache, right, sometimes. Well, really, there's uh, part of that, yeah. Okay. And and for a 62-minute movie, about a third of it was flat. And a lot of people assumed that was because the movie had only been partially filmed in 3D. Well, none of that was true. Uh, the film is entirely three-dimensional. And the original stereo cinematography is quite good. It's, it's on a par of what the major studios were doing in 3D at the time. And for a low budget indie film that was shot in four days for $16,000, that's quite a remarkable achievement. And I've known this for decades and I've been wanting the opportunity to get the film out there in a quality that hasn't been seen since 1953. And that's that's what we've done with uh, the 3D Blu-ray release. And now what kind of glasses do you wear with this? Is there a difference? I mean. Yeah, there are two Explain to me. I'm not a 3D aficionado. There's two versions on here. For people that have the dedicated display and equipment, a Blu-ray player and a, a 3D capable uh, monitor or projector, it's in discrete left, right 3D, which is very high quality. Uh, if you don't, we also have a version in red and cyan, anaglyphic 3D that can play on any display, any monitor. You don't need any special equipment. And we include a pair of 3D anaglyphic glasses in there. Okay. And uh, a lot of people are impressed with the quality of the 3D. And we just restored what the cinematographer captured 70 years ago. Okay. And and that's what we brought back to life. And this was the stuff you found in an abandoned storage locker? You happened to find the, the stuff you needed? It's in the right place at the right that's, time. That's amazing. And, that, and now we're going to get information. Like, we can order these from you? Like, how do you get these, this new uh, version? It's distributed by Bayview Entertainment. Okay. But if you go to our website, 3dfilmarchive.com, there's a, a page uh, of available film restorations. Okay. And there's information and direct links on there to order any of the 30 odd films that we have. Okay, now you restored. talk about 30 odd films. You talked about some from the 20s. Like they had 3D in the 20s. Yeah. And uh, what were some of the films like? From that era, back in those days that you that you restored. Well, most of them are lost, unfortunately. But we did restore a film called Kelly's Plasticon Pictures from 1922, and it's on our 3D Rarities collection from uh, Flickr Alley, which is a release we did about five six years ago with two and a half hours of vintage 3D content from the 20s through the 50s. Okay. Uh, so there's a lot out there. Anybody that wants to dive into vintage 3D, uh, we have quite a few releases that uh, you can really whet your appetite. Okay, now say that, say that again, the website, so that the viewers will know where to go again. The website is 3dfilmarchive.com, and that's where uh, we have information about some of our uh, upcoming projects, as well as all the films that are currently available to buy on Blu-ray. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to say, from, from a, a show that is basically our bread and butter is these old films, thank you very much for saving them and making them better so the future generations can enjoy them. It's really impressive that we're having this opportunity to do these to these old films. Instead of just forgetting about them, we're, re we're basically refurbishing them and taking them back to their glory days. And I'm excited. We're going to see this later on the big screen. I'm excited and looking forward to that. So thank you for taking a few minutes with us. My pleasure. Thank Please you. Please check out if you're interested in these films. I know you guys at home like like their older movies. Well, not going to get better versions than these in 3D, right? Right. And, and, if you and like they're the, working on more. If you like classic comedy, we've restored a lot of Abbott and Costello. Not 3D, but uh, I grew up loving their work, and I right. worked for the family. So a lot of great Abbott and Costello right. releases. So check, check them out, the stuff they got. They got more coming, so keep you know, keep in tune with what's going on. I think you're going to be excited. I think you'll be interested. But thank you for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you, Rich. Right, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, thank Tim. You. Hey, D. Yes? Why were the leaves fighting? I don't know. Why were they? Because they had a fallout. Zing! <laughs> <laughs> hey!
flavor! Oh, 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 Why did Pinocchio ask so many questions? Mm. He was nosy! Ah! Zing! Uh. <laughs> hey! Oh, God. What choice did the cord give the battery? I don't know. Adapter else. <laughs> Zing! Ah! <laughs> Zing! Those are fun. Those are fun. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Why is anger so popular right now? Why? Because it's all a rage! Dang! Zing. <laughs> there are circles to every story and two sides to every side. Wish I didn't have to worry about doing what is right I promise to stay with you but now I want to leave and maybe some kind stranger will keep you company if I'm here in the morning when the sun sets in the evening there's no telling where i'll be i promise to stay with you but now i have to leave and maybe some kind of stranger will keep you company known to sleep as late as 8.30, 9 o'clock, especially after a night like last night. Caroline, my car is gone. I've got chores. Everyone's had breakfast. I could heat up some uh, biscuits and ham. No, thanks. I'm sorry, but I don't eat before noon. And when my almost brand new $7,000 car just disappears, after failing to start, I just might lose my appetite altogether. Well, the boys are going to fix it. They're very handy with machinery. <laughs> Jimmy, please. That's all right. Just do your chores. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling very gentlemanly this morning. Uh. All right, John. Where's my car? You better get some breakfast in you, Paul. Or Peter figured to clear some brush today. John, where is my car? And don't call me Paul. No, boys. Easy. Easy. Um, you better turn me loose, Mr. Wheeler. And just say something nice and loud. Hello, boys. 
boys. Take it easy now. Now, John, I, I want you to tell me where my car is, or I'm going to give you a wallop that you are not going to forget, and that is only the beginning. Never try and punish us in front of the dog, sir. Where is Peter, John? Look, it's not right to steal other people's property. Now, look, just tell me where Peter is, and I'll talk to him, and after that, I'll decide whether or not you need a whipping. Oh. Well, he's out the swimming hole. I can't go till I finish old Beth here. She's a great old milking cow. Good for a full bucket, too. Which way to the swimming hole? Uh, around the barn. Through the cornfield, past some trees. Oh, it's over here on where you'll hear them. <laughs> After morning chores, it's a whooping holler time around here. with my car. And I'm going to be very upset if you fooled around with that motor. We never touched the motor, sir. Peter? Can you swim, sir? The water's nice and warm. Peter, I don't have time to waste swimming. Now, I just want you to take me to my car, that's all! Yes, sir. James, give me a hand with the boat. drag it across the river, did you? Peter, listen, if you've gotten water in that gas tank, I... Will this thing float? Get in. Like a sieve. My new $60 shoes, power manure, mud. 
They swim like. I must have hit my head. Hey, stay lie down. They ran my new car right down to the bottom of the creek. And there was a red one down there, and a blue one, and a green one. Jimmy, they're going to vote. Vote? On us. Whether they keep us as parents or not. They're going to vote on us? This is like a bad dream. It's like a joke. If they vote no. Look, you said there were others. And they must have voted on them. That explains those cars at the bottom of the creek. They like it. I know they do, and they'll vote yes. If they do, that'll give us the time to think of a way to get out of here. Caroline, I am not going to wait around to go on trial by a bunch of crazy kids. Uh, would you mind getting me a pair of pants? I'm sure my size is in that closet. Where are they now? They're eating. Peter went to cut a willow switch for you to use on John for tipping the boat up. Oh, a willow switch. They want punishment. Well, I don't. I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Jimmy. Look, I'll make my way to Pensboro and I'll get help. You don't understand. They won't let you go. They'll kill you. Caroline, look. I've survived Vietnam, a rotten marriage. I'm indestructible. Now, would you please get me some pants? <laughs> Yes, Merlin. Who's the boss in the family? Isn't it apparent? Zing! <laughs> My head hurts. Sitting in that seat, you have to do a little bit more than just sit there. <laughs> you can just be back <laughs> oh. over here. <laughs> you gotta engage. You gotta you gotta pull his yeah, chain. Yeah, go, oh, hey, oh, welcome back. Hope yeah. you enjoy. I just want me to make him get a vein. Man. Yeah. 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 It'll be coming up. Talk soon. to the people out there. Yeah, tell Hello, them. Hello, people. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Vern. My name is Vern. I get to touch the pillow. Show us a Vern again. Oh, not any pillow. Yeah, not, show any us pillow. Not, Vern. not any pillow. Pull up Vernan again. Vernan again. Yeah. Vernan again. Vernan again. No, that only happens when I'm over there. Vernan again. Vernan again. Seriously? That's his theme. Seriously, that's a thing. <laughs> Don't encourage them, people. Don't encourage them. Encourage hey, speaking us. of themes, I just got a note uh, a couple of days ago. The lowlies are about done with our revised... Um, themes that we can so they use. Did, they did follow through on all that. Yeah. So I should be getting them very soon from Ed. Shout out to the Lolis. Yeah, to the Lolis with the new theme, that uh, revised theme. So I'm looking forward to that. So shout out, yeah, shout out to them. And that was that's not taking this place of the UNESCO theme. That no, is no, this is just another like, bumper, you know, bumper, yeah, bumper, music, yeah, bumper music. A bumper, yeah. bumper ah. theme. Yeah. Sometimes so it is. I can't raise my hand, oh. I can only raise one.
Maybe Rocco can. Oh, there is a lot Rocco, of room. Rocco, give here. me another arm raised. <laughs> we know nothing about room. <laughs> we're just, hey, we're just hey, scrunched in. I got, I got to do shout out to, to Rocco though. That what, the dragon fire? breath. Yeah. <laughs> dragon I'm breath. I'm watching it. Actually. <laughs> like, yeah. I get I surprised like, once in a while. Yeah. And I like the little negative one, negative yeah, two. Yeah. Because I was being supposedly some negative. He does you some good stuff are, lately. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Little sound what are you laughing at? You don't even watch the show. That's true. You watched this once. I watched it once. Uh, Tonight's movie's got Stacy Keach, also known as Sergeant Stadanko. You say so. Right. Oh, okay. I know so. My camera. I know so. Um, Stadanko, that's the name. Sergeant Stadanko. My camera. <clears throat> Cheetah Chong, everyone Chichichong. loves the old Cheetah Chong movies. Everybody loves them. Well, a lot of people do. But everyone has their favorite, too. You know, Cheech. Your favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you got that. I was hoping you. No, I knew you would. I'm not going to miss a thing. <laughs> we don't miss a damn thing, right? All right. Mm, that's um, true. Um, <laughs> everyone, everybody has their favorite yeah. Cheech or Chong so you know put them up against each other and see who comes out the winner of who's your favorite of the Cheech or Chong movies Cheech or Chong Cheech 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 really oh, <laughs> wow. yeah. really 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 yeah mine's Chong even though Whenever I do the one-liners, it's usually Cheech is the one, you know, hey, come on, man. In the back on the bumper, man. You know, oh, you scared me. You keep on knocking and you can't come <laughs> in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, I'm blind. I'm blind. Oh, my God, I'm blind. <laughs> my dog ate my stash, man. <laughs> now, that was Chunk. My dog ate my stash, man. I had to follow him around a little baggy before I got it back. Really blew the hey, dog's see mind. See your one-man show later, but what's going on tonight? Uh, okay, you know, so that's my reasoning. I gotta I drive guess. home with this. So, <laughs> no, by the time we're driving home, um, you said Cheech why? I think I just know Cheech better, a little better. I think he well, was just a little of, out there more. Of, uh, because, because of like uh, born of East LA, and he was on the show with uh, Don, Don Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, think, I think he was just around more, more than, out, out there, out there than, for you. Than so you just know not Chich. saying that they're not, you know, that Chunk's not funny or anything, because he was on uh, that '70s show yes. and he was freaking hilarious. Uh, but I think Chief was just more out there. Okay, he was out there. I was asking who liked better as Cheech and Chong, <laughs> but it's That's okay. close enough. <laughs> we couldn't like him better as Cheech and Chong because I you never said did. Cheech or Chong. Well, yeah, as. In their movies, who do you, in the movies? And not, he just said. Okay. Well, he just said because he's, he's more out there. Yeah, that's there. what I'd say, and same thing you said. It's not the question. See, that's As why, Cheech and Chong, that, who do you like better? That's why Rich is in this chair. Who do you like better? <laughs> I like Cheech. As Cheech and Chong. Just keeps, I like Cheech and Chong as Cheech and Chong it, better. Keep pushing it. That's not the question. Who do I like better as Cheech and Chong? When you're watching Up and Smoke and Nice Dreams and Next Movie, who do you like better? Cheech or Chong? Man. <laughs> Good answer. You said Cheech. Why? You say Nash Bridges. I'm gonna fling this thing up your nose. Yeah, Nash. Bridges. Say it. Do it. God, do it's it. not that. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. I like Cheech's overall all his work more than Chong. But overall. however, but but you know when in the albums that I listened to back when they first came out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Chong was the one that is because of the he played that stoner role right, a little right. bit better, mm -hmm. or you know he 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 was a little more noticeable. But with I still with go Cheech. Sister Mary Ellison. So would you they, say yeah. Cheech is the straight playing. man? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. sort of. Yeah, right. not really. Well, no, well, a little bit. But no, they did. Just Chong just talked. The, role, the, the thing they played. It really wasn't a straight man. It wasn't like a Martin and Luther right. masterpiece or, movie. Evil Bong, one and two. Hey, sure. later I reserved the right, Rocco. I came up with a joke that I wrote, and later I reserved the right to say it. Rocco, do you have a Cheech or a Chong? I have a Cheech. good one. Cheech. 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 You're a bunch of Cheech. Yeah. But that's not what he's this asking not, for. That's not the it's question. It's not what he wants in the world of Cheech <laughs> we, and Chong. We, okay. You didn't answer his when question When you're growing correctly. up and you're watching Cheech and Chong movies, who did you like better, Cheech or Chong? We're not fast forwarding 30 years to when Nash Bridges are born in East LA. That was just an example. <laughs> that was to Mercatroyd. It was just an example. It was just an example. 
Exit stage left. Exit even. stage left. Even. Oh my god! You know, you know how long ago I've seen this? <laughs> it's been since I've yeah. seen those movies. What's they done lately? <laughs> Nothing. Oh I'm gonna listen to the album now. Oh. I want to go back and listen to the, the album. albums. Are funny, but like yeah. I said, I could I could do that whole up and smoke yeah, that whole car yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, feel free not to. Right, the first day of my summer vacation, I woke up. Then I went downtown. Rocco, tell for me why I can tell the joke. I then wrote. I hung out in front of the drugstore. Okay, because it, it takes a little laying out. Second day of my one. summer vacation, I woke up. Then I went downtown <laughs> to, to, to okay, look for a job. And then we have back hung out in front of the drugstore. Let's get back and see all. The third day of my summer vacation, I woke up. Were they all kind? I don't think so. I don't think they're very they kind. Hanging out in no. front of the drugstore, keeping people from hanging out. I'm not going to punish you for spilling the milk, John. I think you know that. But that business with the boat was something else. Somebody could have got hurt. You have to learn about jokes like that. Well, how's just funning, sir? There's nothing wrong with that as long as everybody knows you're playing. But that's not the way it happened. Peter, you're going to have to take the dogs off somewhere. They won't make no fuss. I'll see to it. Now, look, I don't want everybody standing around. You wouldn't want it that way if it was your turn. This is just between a father and a son. They could all use a switching. They come near the deep water when I told them not to. We had to help Pa, Peter. I'd have took care of that. Peter, there was cars down there. I bet on it. That was junk metal, just like I told you. Pa throwed it in there years back. If I catch you swimming near there again, you're going to get something you've never had before. Nobody's going to go swimming. It's too dangerous. Somebody might get a foot caught in that old junk metal. Peter, you're going to have to take the dogs off. Caroline, you and the girls take care of the ironing. Let's go hunting, Peter. A dog didn't have a real good run in a long time. Peter, if you want to, you could, uh, you could help pull those stumps out. And after you finish, maybe uh, we could go hunting in a couple of days. Ah, oh, come on, Peter. I don't want to dig up no... All right. Come on. We'll look up on the back of the ridge. inside that shed and I want you to think about what you did. Try and figure out why it was wrong. Then you're gonna switch me? I want you to think, John. Sometimes thinking's worse than a switching. Go on.
turn. Your turn will come soon enough. I said, put your food down. We're not playing games anymore. I've decided to stay. But Caroline's free to go. You want to, Mama? If you stay, Jimmy, I will. Nobody's forcing you to stay. If I'm taking over this family, that's the way it's going to be. And there'll be no more locked doors. Is that understood, Peter? Peter? Yes, sir. All right. You've got your parents now. You can finish your supper. Up the supper dishes. Good night. Good night, Peter. Good night, Paul. Good night, Peter. eyes out. Yeah. But what happened when we put that rooster in the hen house instead of keeping him penned in the barn? He got fat and sassy and nice as pie. Let's just take another look at our rooster in the morning. Collect Paul throwing no junk in the creek. Just too young to remember. Yeah, but it looked like cars. We've all stayed together, ain't we? Like Pa said. Yeah. But I told you it'd be your turn soon. To shoot and all. Well, there's something else. When you're old enough. But Peter. If we vote no one needs to tomorrow, there'll be time enough to tell you. Tell me what, Peter? Good night, John. It's gonna be worse at night. 
I've got an idea. Come on. Have we got any more of this stuff? Culprit? Get it.
I'm your host, Stink Fart and Smell, and this is the new Waiting Game, where the world's top procrastinators wait to give an answer. And now let's meet our first contestant, Rich, who has an uncashed check from his third birthday party, just waiting for those interest rates to go up. Our next contestant, Denny, lifelong Cleveland Brown fan, still waiting for next year. And our last contestant, Mike, who's waiting for the 1980s to return. Well, since the 1980s. And today's questioner is Julie. Julie, ask your question. So guys, if you were to take me out to a restaurant, what kind of restaurant would you take me to? Gentlemen, we're waiting. Gentlemen? Gentlemen? Well, that's all the time we have for today's game. Tune in next week to see if they'll ever answer on the new waiting game. Call my agent. Okay. And we're, and up. we're up. <laughs> and we're You've up. You've been on Facebook Live. Hey, that's right. This, oh. So that makes three shows we did today. No, four. Four. There we go. I'm All right. To get tired. All right. I'm not so tired. Facebook Live. All right. We're All right. Uh, All right. taping for the Midnight Movie right now. So. It's trip live. Yeah, trip live. Trip live. It's trip you know, there's a way to show everybody. We do it all the time, but that's okay. Can I tell my joke? Go okay. Oh, Rich has got so a joke. I wrote this one, and I'm very, I'm very, I'm happy with it. So I got to share it. <laughs> the, the hit movie that's out right now, Napoleon. Okay, I found out a little research about Napoleon. Uh, Napoleon was actually married one time to a lady. <laughs> lady. A lady. Lady. But the lady had two two children of her own before she married Napoleon. Okay. Napoleon wanted to have a family, but he never had any kids after that. And the reason why, most why? people think it's because Napoleon maybe was not able to have children or something like that due to his war injuries or whatever. But what it really was, was back in the day, they had a lot of orgies and things like that going Whoa. on. Whoa. And Napoleon did not want to take part in that. He always preferred to bone apart. <laughs> Dynamite! <laughs> <laughs> that that was his name. <laughs> so uh, I had to say I wrote that. I wrote that at a live event. Somebody was talking about that, and I came out with it like that, and I was so proud of that. I couldn't wait. I could not wait to share it. Yeah. You're gonna see it on Jimmy Kimmel, probably, and all that. But I wrote it. Well, that's all right. I want to go see it, but I gotta go see Godzilla minus one. Godzilla minus one. I'm hearing great yeah, things about. I'm gonna see it. Okay. Movie. You know what time it is? Yeah, it's time to do that uh, taste test. Okay, we're back. We're back. All right, it's trivia time. Tonight's back. movie <laughs> stars <laughs> Stacy Keach, also known as Sergeant Stadanko I from the Cheech and Chong movies. Okay. Yep. Yeah. You know why he wow. has a mustache what? all the time? What? You know why he has a mustache all the time? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, just asking. Don't, don't try to stump me. Now. <laughs> I'm just asking. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. Same reason Joaquin Phoenix doesn't have one. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Don't show me. Don't show me. Don't <laughs> show me. It's dusty over here. Did you guys ever clean this thing? <laughs> um, uh, we were talking earlier about Cheech and Chong. Uh, Cheech. 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 What? 
That Facebook Live will go far from him. I'm just saying. Here, why don't you let me hold it and I can film you guys. Go ahead. Here, I do this all the time for me and Denny. Okay. Cheech and Chong. 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 Sort of halfway inspired what future comedy duo show? Very long running comedy duo show. Duo show. TV show. Yes. Of a duo? I cannot give you any more information or else they'll give it away. <laughs> no. It, it, it half, half, in. half inspired. Half, half inspired. inspired. It was half, half inspired. inspired half know. inspired. Was it the so total inspired. inspiration, but they were half inspired. I'm going to get you, Rocco. No, no. I'm not going to show your face, though. Do Dewey's we, back there. Did we get a hit? Look at the studio. Oh, my gosh. Um, okay, go back. We're getting all kinds of comments. The only hint I can give you. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sorry. The only hint I can give you, it would give it away. Uh, Comedy duo. So it's twosome. Okay. Whoa. Ah, that's that's what, dirty. That's what dual means. Yeah. So So there you go. Any any anybody think they have it? Gotta think on it a little bit. Uh, mm. No. What a year. How many come um I think it may have started in the nineties. It wasn't right, Caroline, what you done. You lied just like him. That ain't no good way for parents to be. He wanted to get help, Peter. For all of you. We don't need no help. As long as we stay together. You ain't gonna give us no more trouble. He's okay, Annie. He didn't mean nothing bad. Oh, he's fine. I got him tied up real good, Peter. All right. We vote now. Please, Peter, not yet. Let me talk to him. He won't try and run away again. I said we vote now. Yes, he stays. He's our pa. We'll do like he says. No. He goes, just like the others. James? He keeps trying to run away. I vote no. Rita? I like him. I think Caroline's right. I vote yes. It's one yes and one no. Gilbert? I think he'd make a fine pa. I picked him. I vote yes. Two yes and one no. Baby? Baby can't vote. He doesn't understand. He's family. He voted yes on you, remember? We all did. Baby, do you want Mr. Wheeler to stay or go? Go. It's two and two. John? Don't matter much to me, Peter, whatever you say. John, you like him. You know you do. He didn't take the switch to you. He made you think. He, he gave you the chance to figure out right from wrong. Now, this is family, Caroline. I want you to hear it. But you got no right talking. You voted yes on me. You voted me, your mama. Yeah, but that's all different now. After what you've done. 
You see, you're with him. You showed us that. So however the vote goes for him. All right, John's holding back his vote. Martha? to know. Since John's going along with however I vote, it's four no in three years. In the morning, you're both gone. to leave. He wants you and John to stay behind and take his place. The other children don't even know. But you know. You know what happened. You know how those cars got to the bottom of the creek. Do you want to be responsible for that? Martha, cut me loose. Cut me loose. some sleep. You better get some sleep too. You'll be leaving in the morning. Good night, Mr. Wheeler. Peter. All you had to do was stay. Be our folks. Wouldn't have been so bad. You're like all the others. 
Nobody cares. I can't let you go, Mr. Wheeler. It's not like the others, Peter. Not this time. Your brothers and sisters, they'll know. They'll believe what they're told, like always. You're wrong, Peter. I told you to go to the swimming hole. Now go. All of you. It ain't right, Peter. We voted to let him go. How would want us to hurt nobody? We'll get somebody else like we always done. If they left, they'd send somebody to break us up. I'm only doing it for you, don't you see? No, you're not, Peter. You're doing it for yourself. No. How else are you going to get out of here? How are you going to keep from being stuck with those kids all the rest of your life? See all those places you've been dreaming about? California, New Orleans, Mardi Gras? That ain't true. Yes, it is true, Peter. Whether you like it or not, it is true. You're trying to confuse me. I'm trying to help you. I love those kids. Do you? And put that gun down. Put it down, Peter. Please. stopped, I thought they'd help. It ain't fair. People should help other people. If Peter done wrong, he didn't mean it, Mr. Wheeler. I know that, John. Peter? There are people, special people, who can help you. They understand. You will, too, after a while. Will we ever be a family again? That's up to Peter. Take a walk into Pennsboro, Mr. Will. Remember your name? I said, "There's Big Dent T and there's yeah, Rich." You, you, there's Big Dent T and Rich. Yeah, that's how long the pause was. There was a long pause. Now what do you do? I can't do it. He the just button, gave the button in the back. He just gave us the longest point. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, yeah. Real small I smiling. <laughs> That does not look like a real ILM. <laughs> that looks like so. 
All right. I was, hey. Hey. I was so touched. Thanks for watching. We are going to log off because we got to finish the show. Yeah, we got to do this show. Yeah, we got to do stuff. But you so, can always watch the Midnight work. Movie Midday's Mayhem Tune every Thursday Midnight at noon movie, on our Midnight Movie In a few weeks, page. you'll see tonight's episode. But anyway, we got to go. I got to go. Yeah, we hey, gotta Jamie. Show. I see you. I see you, Jamie. All right. Bye bye. What's, What's that noise? All right. What are you doing over there, Rocco? <laughs> I heard something going. <laughs> whap, 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 whap. Okay. Let's go. Are we doing that yeah. challenge? Yeah. Well, go ahead. So we, we didn't even promote the challenge. Well, because I was just opening the bag. I, you got to show people what it is. There you go. Check, zoom in on that, Rocco. I know you, you can't zoom. So. Mm. There uh, you go. There you go. Where is it? There you go. That's what we're doing. No. We're that's doing what, porking that's, goods. That's what they're stupid doing. Hot, stupid hot. Extremely stupid. spicy. Don't flavored be stupid. Flavored chicharronis. Because you were doing chich and chong. Don't be stupid. We're doing chicharronis. Stupid hot. Chicharronis. Yeah. Not stupid. Gotcha. You know it's not going to be hot. First of all, let us know what you thought about the ending tonight. I thought it could have been way better. It just kind of ended. It just kind of like, okay, see you later. It, 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 I was very, very disappointed. No, they left it open for the sequel. So, okay, well, whatever. So anyway, holy. <laughs> you want to split this? No. What do you mean? I'm fine. Small as possible. You start at one end, you start at the other. You guys meet in the middle. All right, there you go. Um, this is gonna be hot. Hold right, out. So. Don't be, don't be faking because. <laughs> yeah, no fake. <laughs> Guys, that's not fair. I just grabbed what are you talking about? I just grabbed grab one. You don't have to eat the whole thing. Unless you want I to. I got the biggest one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Out of all people, you got the smallest. <laughs> you got a tiny one. What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> the rumors are not true. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, you ready? Oh, thank God someone else wasn't uh, in the room when we just made that joke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you're treading um, on very thin ice. Right, what's the, uh, should we get the answer after we eat this? What was the question? Um, oh, I forgot. <laughs> I did too. The uh, Cheech and Chong was half of the inspiration oh, oh, yeah, yeah, of yeah, yeah, what yeah, future yeah. Now we get it. very popular comedy duo show. It was a TV show. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. Man, Dustin went into my eye. That's what put in your eye. Yeah, yeah, not it bad. just went into my eye. It's pretty warm. It's got heat. It's got, got heat. heat. Mm. It's got heat. Did you even take a bite? <laughs> oh, you just licked it, didn't you? You didn't even taste it. I did take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> you just licked it. I did take a bite. A yeah. very small one. <laughs> yeah, microscopic bite. <laughs> Think an amoeba takes a bigger bite than that. Yeah. It's got heat. It's got heat, but it's not like... But it tastes good. Yeah. It's not like, oh my god, I can't eat that. Ah, oh, I can't on my next shirt. <laughs> oh, no. Just inhale oh, one of the hurdles. <laughs> Never inhale. All of a sudden, you? it's getting to the back of the throat. Back in there, you're getting a little... Well, I hope so. When you eat it, it's got to get to the back of the throat in order to go down yeah, to the that's stomach. Where that's where I'm feeling the heat, though. Great. Not yeah. so much. My on drink's the... on the other side. <laughs> oh, is this your drink? Oh, is this, this, your drink? Uh, this has got some heat, throat. for sure. It's all right. All right. I don't know. Well... Okay. Porking good. Those are porking good we tried. Um what comedy duo? Um Any uh, bad guesses? Uh you said, comedy you said 90s, duo. right? I think it's I think it started in the nineties. If not late eighties, but I'm gonna say nineties, but I don't know any kind of, Oh uh nah I don't know. I don't know anything about okay, it. Okay. This is pretty hot. I don't know any comedy duos. I wanna say dumb and dumber. Well, but it's a TV show, though. I know that's why I didn't say that. I know. But, God, the only one that comes to mind I don't know what the guys were called, though. I can't remember the name of the show. It's. I know it's wrong, but it's the only one. Only comedy duo that comes to mind right now is Perfect Strangers. Oh, I was gonna say that. I couldn't think of the show. Oh, maybe that's it. No, I, like I said, I know it's wrong, but it's the only thing that that's that was popping what up was in my head. head right now. I couldn't think of that show. Perfect Strangers. Perfect Strangers. That's oh, all. Like yeah, I said, I, I, I know it's wrong, but it's the only thing that's popping in my head. Yeah, that's, a, that's the show I'm thinking. I yeah, we are thinking Perfect Strangers. I didn't even watch Teacher Strong. I think it's uh, like it's the but, 70s show. No, is get that out a comedy here. duo? <laughs> God, it's a comedy cast. Well, you said maybe the 80s. You said a duo. Either the late 80s or early 90s, and I'll give you another hint. Okay, they're still relevant. <clears throat> 
Wow, they're still relevant. Mm. What a hint. <laughs> what a hint. I don't know. Right. Yeah. Wow. Just give us the um, I don't have it. Just give it to no, us. No, I do. You're going to give the name, it's going to be like, oh, crap. Mm. I can't think of any duos on I'll give TV. you some hints. Heavy metal. No. no. Um, Their hints suck. Heavy metal music? No, oh, that's better. Thank you. Now it's all. A comedy duo. Duo is two. This guy. <laughs> he wants a. He wants wow. a gang. Um, uh, Napoleon. Headbanging. Headbanging. Oh wow, those two guys. Oh. Those two guys. Oh, oh, oh the, the, shit. No, oh, not sorry. not that. No. Uh, Wayne and Garth. Oh, uh, Wayne, Wayne and Garth. Garth. No. What do you mean no? Close. That has to be them. Close. It's the only two we know. Close. What do you mean? There ain't no more. No more duos. Wayne and Garth. Final answer. Mm. You're along the same lines. Blues Second, Brothers. Second City. Blues Brothers. No. <clears throat> that wasn't a TV show. Come on. I'm not giving up until you guys guess it. Oh, my God. We'll be here all night. Well, yeah, we're going to be here all night. Go back to all your kind strangers, and we'll try to figure this out. Movie's done. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh, well. We got no <laughs> life left. <laughs> oh, come back next week and we'll give you the answer. Good hey. night, everybody. <laughs> We've been here so long that the, the background video had to start again. <laughs> <laughs> Untitled. Garth Garth What's Garth and Wayne and, wow, and the Garth are There is no the same lines. Uh, yeah, but that was more of a skit oh, than a TV uh, show. Oh, uh, 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 the, uh Kevin uh, Farley and, uh, no, Tommy Boy. Was it um, Farley Keanu and Reeves? Uh, who? And uh, Ted and... No. Bill and Ted, that's not a TV show. Well. Yeah. It's not a TV show. Oh, that was American. Yeah, sorry. Well, it was an animated series. Oh, okay. That's a good guess, though. What was an animated series? Oh, Bill yeah. Bill, Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted, yeah. What was an animated series? This is why Bill I like you. Ted. This is why I like you, Rocco. What else was it? What else? Bill and Ted. Someone Bill say Ted animated Ted series? Adventure. Mm -hmm. Excellent Adventure was an animated series. They had animated series. Animated. Animated? Is this animated? Is, are you really leading us down animated no. road? He doesn't I know am. cartoons. Bart and uh, <laughs> Homer. <laughs> Bart and Homer. Who? Uh, Bart and Homer Simpson. No. Oh. Wayne and Garth. Who's wow. Animated. You have to say animated and you're along the same lines as Wings World, kind of. And I said heavy metal. And I said headbanging. Oh! Oh, Beavis and Butthead. Beavis Thank and Thank you, my God! Beavis and Butthead. Oh, tip of my you know, brain. He's, you were saying the metal, but until you went like this, <laughs> that was like, oh, Beavis and Butthead. Beavis, Beavis and Butthead. And butthead. Wow. Really? Uh-huh. Wow. Allegedly, possibly, maybe, we don't know no, for sure, could be true, could be. Mike Judge told Cheech that they were halfly responsible for inspiring the Beavis and Butthead characters. You're, hey man, you look like halfly responsible for this. <laughs> yeah, which is kind of sliding out. Yeah. Uh, uh, right, you know, you know out. what? I was he's, scared for a while. He's like a sitting ninja. Sitting in between mm -hmm. you guys arguing that I was going to be the middleman, and it's like, oh my god, going through the ears. <laughs> but you guys kept it down today. That's very. I took maybe a, that's the yeah. thing. Maybe we need to separate. Mm, no, 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 but I notice it's that's getting a little colder have. over here, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do miss heat. I do miss the heat. <laughs> yeah. You, you want to sit here and see if you're more blinded? Yeah, <laughs> we, all, we can move all over the place. Oh, Come here. We have Rocco on show. Rocco, you wear a mask on show. I look directly at that light. Don't I'm, look into I'm, the light. I'm, looking, I look, I'm just as blind as you are. can't leave you. He's not even pulled out of here yeah. yet. Yeah, where are you going? Hey. Well, you, yeah, you you watch is it time right? to go? <laughs> yeah. 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 He's way down there now. Yeah. He's way Bye. Uh, right, right he's right pretty there, quick. Man. you got to watch oh, him. Oh, now I look at him. I'm seeing spots. He's sliding out. We're not even... We're still going at it. He slid out. Oh, good night, everybody. See you next week.